Hello and welcome back here to the channel. Drift21 is making its way back. It's definitely been a minute, but I did get a message from the devs saying that there's now multiplayer now. So we do now have multiplayer and stuff like that, but we're going to be getting into that in another episode with some of the team. So we're going to go check out some of the things that we've been missing because I know they updated wheel physics. I know they added some other stuff to the game. So let's go take it into the garage and see what we can do. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So we're going to go take a look at the multiplayer and single player, but we're going to see if there's any multiplayer lobbies open and see how this works, because very curious, do we get to pick cars, do we get to use our own cars? because that would make a big difference. So we're gonna go to multiplayer and there is no servers. So we're gonna host the server and we're going to name our server. We don't know if anybody will join, but we're gonna name it Max Players 4, uh, choose course. And I think we're going to do it Ebizu West, sure. And then choose car. So we do get to pick cars. So I want to drive the E46. Stage 2 E46, 650 horsepower. Um, yes, please. So we get a chance to drive the E46 without having to make the E46. So we're going to create a server. We're going to drive the E46. Not sure what engine's in it. Probably a V8, you would think, hopefully, because there is the V8s and everything in the game now. So let's load into our own server and see how this works. And it looks like all that wine. So E46. Got to get these controllers out of the way. Oh, this thing stepped out right away. I'm noticing a little bit of very looseness in my steering, so we're going to go quickly to DRI. We're going to turn a little bit of stiffness in the wheel. Oh, that's too much. We're going to turn one DRI on. See how that works. Okay, that helps with the oscillation. All right, we're good. So now that we have the 46 out on track, we're just cutting through the grass. We're just going to go full send. Oh. Okay, maybe we should turn that back on. It's not self-steering. So I definitely have to get my force feedback dialed in better to make this uh, game feel that much better. Oh, oh Lord, we're sending it. We went to the C46 and we're just sending it and breaking this car. This car is incredibly powerful. Probably need second gear. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make this, but we're gonna try. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh. Uh, we're dead. So drift twenty one definitely very different than what I've been doing recently with the Assetto Corsa, but. I feel like it's getting a lot better than where it was when it first started. We managed to get some sort of a slide, so we're going to try to get this uphill slide. It's very twitchy, I'm noticing. It could be the tune that we're using. Well, yep. We got it though, slowly. Oh, okay. All right. Can we? Can we? Can we change cars? That's what I want to know. Can we reset? Can we change cars in pit? We can't. So 
we would have to quit session in order to change out cars. So it is definitely very interesting if you're going to get some friends online, you can do some thrashes and bashes and have a lot of fun with it. It's very different than a set of Corsa, but I feel like if you got the wheel settings dialed in right, I feel like it would be very good. What's stage one? 340. Three horsepower. S13 or S15. 600. These are all really high. 200. Miata would probably be the lowest at 360. RX8, 620. So let's just try and drift the 334 horsepower E46 on the track. Basically, a very streetable E46 is what we're going to be looking at with this. We gotta flip my headphones around so the mic part is not in my shifter way. So if you guys wanna keep seeing Drift 21, like I said, we're gonna be getting on with some of our friends and some of the team and see what we can do in some online drifting. Oh yeah, this is gonna be much different. Basically, kind of stock looking E46. Oh, lack of angle kit is there. There's definitely a lack of angle kit. And you can tell it is extremely hard to hold massive amounts of angle without that. So it's more so back to very calm angle clutch kicks. Uh, yep. Nope. Could not. Could not do it. Send it. Press enter. It will let, let me get commands. No. Um. S slash slash. Uh, help. Oh, can we switch car? No. No. Dang. So it's definitely very different. Going to be a lot of fun once I get some of my team on here and we can actually just throw down and really, really go ham with these cars because it's a little boring when you're by yourself. So you got to have some friends. And like I said, there is no other sessions going on right now. So we're going to go back. We're going to go single player. And we're going to go to the toge. And we're gonna pick a full blown out 15. We're gonna go full send in the toge. Free ride. And see what we can do with it to end this episode off. Like I said, gonna be doing more Drift 21, but we're gonna get some friends on, so. Oh man, yep. Oh, super twitchy. Way different than that E46. So like quick, I need to edit my response, I think. Oh, no. Sent it a little too hard, grassroots. Try to do this on bare force feedback settings. Let's see if we can tweak a little bit of force feedback to uh, maybe get it to feel a little bit better. Um, the best force feedback. Make sure that you had set default values and steering wheel software. Okay, so we can't really change anything else. All right, we're just gonna have to get used to it. It is totally different, like I said, than a set of course and everything that I've been doing recently. So, massive burnout. Oh, no, can't do that. I feel if the physics get a little bit better this game is going to be amazing, but it's getting to that point.
We got it. We got it. We're ripping up this toge. Okay. Let's try a little, uh... First person action. Oh, it might help me work this out a little bit better. Actually, it kind of is. Oh, as I said, that we almost go into the mountain. So, Drift 21, definitely a little bit longer to go. So, this game is uh, amazingly awesome. But definitely having a lot of fun on it. If you guys want to keep seeing it, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm your rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Oh. Full send. Oh. Bye. Oh, God.